On this edition of Inside Story, we meet the woman awarded with one of the highest honours in the United States for her tireless work in helping the homeless. And we see why the road to her charitable success has been hard fought. Hello and welcome to Inside Story. I'm Kumi Taguchi. Every year, hundreds of people... Selection of crossover, I'm Ji Xiaojun with David and Bebe, our yes. new friend. Welcome first. Thank <laughs> you. Welcome. Thank yeah, Bebe has been living... Oh, you've lived in America for many years. Many years. I went over when I was 14. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not going to tell you how many years. Yes. <laughs> That's going to reveal my age. Yes. And now you're back home working in Beijing yep. as a radio DJ. Remember in 2009, there is a huge campaign about a, uh, an island in Australia, say the best job in yep. the world. Yep. Uh, they work, you know, the one, if you win the job, you need to only work for like three hours a week. Something like that, <laughs> take some pictures, write the blog. This was where? In Australia. <laughs> Australia. Australia. The great Sorry, too late, David. The Great Barrier. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you missed it. You missed My it already. <laughs> but, but we have now a Chinese version. Wow of that, the wow. best job maybe in China, second best job in the world. It's, uh, it's really, again, it's about an island um, in the lake in Henan. Okay. Uh -huh. I, well, it's, uh, the title, official title is called Daozhu in Chinese, basically it means Daozhu. head oh. of the island. Oh, okay. And the job, island. the job is about, you know, if you're hired, you need to, you're the caretaker of the islands and uh, you take pictures, mm -hmm. write articles or blogs, feed birds and take care of monkeys on those islands and uh, okay. you work well not as good as the one in Australia uh, well that's the winner actually four days a week well she's got the payment it's 300,000 renminbi renminbi 300,000 renminbi for a year wow. she's the winner that's the not bad. Is the winner. wow that's what like 20,000 over 20,000 a month right it's yeah. a decent, very it's good a salary in it's China. A lot. That's a very good salary in China. And, yeah. and, and so that these duties for why, why did they want someone to take care of the He's island? He's like so interested. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Are Again, it's too, it's too, just too late. No, David. I want to meet that woman. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With a salary of 300,000. Uh, can 300, I go visit 000. you? We could find our own island. Yeah, 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 seriously. <laughs> anyway, I guess this is another promotion campaign, just right. the, like the one they did with the uh, Australian yeah, island. I think it's more for pr promotional purposes. Oh, okay. But yeah. again, these days, because we, every day we're facing all these new choices, new inventions, right. mm. or say new professions, new jobs. Mm. And these are the ones that many people would, you know, uh, yeah. Look after. I will go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Take okay. a break for like a year or two. Yeah. Yeah. But I've always wondered. But the thing is, if you have to live in an island now, all by your own. Oh, oh I'll invite David. <laughs> I'll invite you over. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a little party. That sounds good. But yeah. I thought there were monkeys and stuff. You're not alone completely. You all right. All right. Yeah. Talk to them then. <laughs> <laughs> but talking about these new professions, and we have actually today a whole list of these new jobs. The first one: professional fans. Like in like, showbiz, you know, if a uh, singer or a movie star celebrity goes somewhere and you know the companies, the agencies may organize a huge group of fans uh, to meet you like, at the airport, yeah, 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 and some literally. of them are real ones and some are organized uh, ones. That's so sad to know yeah, that like half yeah. of the people who are like See, meeting just say, look, take look. at the airport are fakes. You're right, baby. That'd be sad to know that <laughs> yeah. these, are, these people know who you know, are You know, you turn paid. around, each are paid like 50 <laughs> quai. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We're there. not saying that all these fans are fake ones. I mean, they, they, some of them they are them. real ones. But some of them are. You don't know who are, who are not. Yeah. That's the, that, I guess that's the beauty of it. You can't yeah. tell. Right? But the things, and I've heard a lot about it. I mean, th there is that industry. And there is even a company doing the job in this regard. Like an agency. Organizing right. fans, wow. professional ones. And they pay you by how devoted you are in your acting. Uh -huh. Say, huh. Uh, well, if, if you wanted to pay me, I will be your professional fan. Uh, I think if you oh, come on, on, show, come on. Shall do what I need. That's 50. <laughs> <laughs> and then he runs away. Yeah, right. No. And if you want to earn, want to earn 80 quiet, that's you have to hold a banner or something, you know, oh, like, with the name. We love you. Things like something that. like that. Uh, forget it. And <laughs> what about? That's easier to do. Uh, okay, 200. For what do you need to do? Crying. Or no, like. Crying. Running all the way up, saying, oh, I've loved you all my life. Like, yeah. you've yeah. changed my life. Something like that. Okay, about 300 then. Uh, 
I don't know. Oh, tears. Something dramatic. <laughs> oh, tears. You have to burst into tears. Blistering mouthwash, like, before you meet the, the star. Yeah. And if you, you know, <laughs> you are so devoted. into that, it's, you're so devoted into that, then you'll get 500 mm -hmm. if you faint. Uh -huh. uh. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's, that, that's, that's easy enough. So, uh, yeah. Well, just don't that. eat for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get paid for 500. Yeah. yeah. Want to have a try, David? Uh, not unless, well, it depends. If the fans are all these beautiful women I just saw, uh, it's okay. Maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Give it a try. But have you ever heard stories like that in other countries? Ah, uh, I know. I know. I know, I, are, know I know there are professional uh, or, or paid audiences. Paid and audiences. I've seen, I've seen those in China right. because they, because for example, you're you're taping a show that's going to take several hours, mm. and nobody in the audience wants to sit there for six or seven or eight hours, that's right? right. Mm -hmm. They start to go to sleep. They say, "Can we go home now?" So they say, "Okay, look, we'll pay you, you know, for a hundred kwai an hour or something, fifty mm. kwai an hour." Mm. And your job is to sit there, and whenever the camera goes on, you see applaud and be happy and everything like that. Yeah. Mm. So. That's fake, but I mean, you can understand why some 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 studios yeah. need it, right? But again, we're talking about uh, this industry, and when you say this is yeah. about making industry, a business out of it, I've never, I've, business. Never, I've never heard of that in the U.S. But I but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure it does exist. Anything is possible yeah, if we're yeah, talking yeah. about business. Yeah, it wasn't one of the things I was looking for when I was like looking for jobs after graduation. <laughs> I didn't know right. it existed. But Next one. <laughs> Uh, well, how, how shall we put it? The professional apologizes. You know, oh. if you have maybe a little argument with your friends, or if you have a little fight with your, I mean, don't know, you know maybe mm. your, com uh, your company, and you're too shy to go apologize to say uh, sorry to the mm. ones that you have to say sorry to, then you maybe you need to hire someone to do that so for you. A professional apologizer. Hmm, that's interesting. interesting. You know what? It's more like a, like a union worker sometimes. Let's say if big companies they're mm. fighting with each other, not just personal issues. Oh. And uh, you need someone who can actually deal with something like that to resolve disputes. Well, that's the question. Conflicts. Who are the clients for this? Who need who needs it? She says it like a big company. Maybe. Union or, who would who would hire individuals? People? I guess we would sometimes it, maybe... This uh, sounds very Japanese to me for some reason. Like, you know, I need to apologize to, you know, to my wife. But but, yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. Do I, can I, can I uh, hire this to, person to apologize to my wife? I don't, th I don't think it's going to work. But I think they have different services. I think they're pro <clears throat> companies like that, right? Offer apology well, services. Uh, well, it doesn't say, I mean, whether it's about individuals or about companies, but we mm. have a picture of that company. Basically, what they do is simp not simply, you know, go to somewhere. Yes, I see, I, I see, apology service. <laughs> what they do is more than just go somewhere and say sorry to someone. They do uh, a bunch of things. It's basically maybe arrange flowers mm -hmm. or uh. you know, arrange a, uh, the place where you would meet or maybe they would send someone yeah. to somewhere. I think they just come up it's with ideas to make the other party happy, mm -hmm. whatever that takes. Like, you uh, have to know the problem, the issue, and then you have to come up with ideas. I can understand that. I, I remember that. one time I, I had uh, one time I had this girlfriend that was did a very bad thing to me. And to she, you? And she, to me, yeah. And okay. she was very apologetic. And when I came home to my apartment that night, which she had the key to my apartment, there were, there were balloons all through the apartment filling up to the ceiling of balloons. And on each balloon was written, I'm sorry. Aww, and I thought, wow. And I thought, wow, that is amazing apology. And so maybe a company could like do that, you know, yeah. exactly. these creative apologies. That yeah. would, I mean, how can you still be angry after that? It's you know, out of this that's true. Uh, If well, you didn't know that someone service. else did it for her. Yeah, now it wouldn't be so fun if, yeah, if she paid someone to do <laughs> that's it. That's true, but if it's your own idea. But when I thought that she nice. herself, but she could pay someone to do it, but you know, the, you don't have the to know that a service did it. Right? Right? But the true. apology would be still sincere. I mean, she yeah. just needs like someone a greeting to help card. Her. You buy a greeting card that, that says, you know, deepest apologies or something, that's true. and you didn't write it. So why not have the company actually go apologize? What's the difference? Part of the reason why this kind of companies or service may exist in China, it's maybe it has something to do with the saving face. Yeah, mm -hmm. face issue or man's issue. I've I've often joked that those three words, you know, dui bu qi, just don't exist in Chinese because I've so seldom heard. Why? I've just seldom heard Chinese say that. It's very really? hard for them to. That's my opinion. Yeah. It's mm. harder to say I love you in Chinese, like. Oh, that's Nobody say it, like the older that's generation. That's even harder, yeah. But do what she is. But I'm, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They, they but if you bumped into someone, <clears throat> you uh, say that. Like, Get out of my but way. That's <laughs> different. No, that's different. That's different. Okay, that, that's uh -huh. like you know, David. That's like when it's you're not really your fault. But I'm talking about you know, really. I'm sorry. Like you know, if I can be personal here again, you know, 
I find that my wife, who's Chinese, when she wants to apologize, she will never say I'm sorry. Okay. But she will do something to let me know. To that show she's sorry. that. Like she'll like sorry. give cook my favorite meal or something like that. And wow. they, but she will never say I'm sorry. So see, that's. I think one that's thing. just her character. Like she uh -huh. has a really strong character. Mm -hmm. It's like you know. You yeah. No. No. I do agree. Actually, David. See, see, I think I it's because he's Chinese. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't much. notice it. You. Yeah. Less too long. <laughs> you, you were in the U.S. too long. Your, your mind is gone. You're now. You're. And we'll take a short break and we'll come back. More new jobs. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait any longer when it comes to the annual check of lifts. As well as regular maintenance, lift owners are required by law to get their lifts examined and tested every year by a registered lift engineer. The certificate must be sent to Electrical and Mechanical Services Department for endorsement and then displayed inside the lift. Test and examine lifts regularly. It's the owner's responsibility. And welcome back to Crossover. More new jobs and this one is, well, personal shoppers or Ooh, shopping escorts? That's my thing. <laughs> I, but you want to be a personal shopper. No, I, what does it mean? I, I still don't understand. Personal it shopper, mean? it's yeah. like they, um, at least one thing they do is they pick out clothing for you. They're not, like they, they look at you and they see what style will fit oh. you and what like belt will go with it. Like so that way you don't have to go shopping, they go shopping for you. You go right? together, I think. Ah. Unless they know you really well. Like, like how do they get paid? Um, by the hour, maybe. I've never hired so any. So the idea is that they they know about clothing and they will give. They you know advice. about clothing, the style, the trend, mm. like mix and matching things like that. It's when you don't really have a good sense of fashion and you don't really have the time to like go everywhere to shop. Okay, but you're a woman. Would you hire this such a person? You're a if professional I'm, shopper yourself. Yeah. No, not really. If I'm rich <laughs> enough, if I have the need. But you to would look like to be a professional shopper. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No. And, and here really. is, yeah, and here is a little information about. Personal shoppers personal is shopper. uh -huh. 150 to 500 per hour. Remembi. Can yeah. you okay. imagine like going shopping with someone and get paid? Well, if you're good at it, then maybe it's that's somewhere. nice. Like if yeah. I go shopping with someone, they pay me 500 yeah. quite an hour. I would do it. I, I would. I would like to do it because I hate shopping for clothes. <laughs> okay. And I also have no idea what looks good. So I would, uh -huh. I would you pay someone. You are the perfect customer. It would, for one thing, it would only take me one hour. Mm. Okay. So I would just, it would just add 150 to whatever the clothing was. Yeah. So I yeah. would do it because they would say, no, you need to do this and you know, your yeah. body is this shape so you need to buy this kind of. Next I time I'll go with you. This is a, just a little picture of how they work and I guess this is still more about the consulting service, say mm. what you should buy and if you buy trousers like this, and maybe <laughs> what you need, you, you know, like what shirt you should get, things like yeah. that. What tie? Come with your trousers or shoes. Yeah. And so, they, so they're paid to be very frank and honest with you too. Like, and also sense of fashion. Like yeah. you have to have the vision. What looks good. And I guess also it depends on what kind of occasion you're, you know, mm. getting ready for. Yep. And, uh, but this is fairly new. And uh, according to a little survey done on the internet, 80% of the respondents would say they've never heard about a profession like this. 11 say they're interested. But when they've heard about the price, oh. yeah. it's one, 150 for one, one yeah. hour. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I can Not, understand that. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess normal, like most of us don't really need it. It's for like the big stars or the really mm. rich men or ladies. Uh, yeah, Especially sure. men. Like, they gotta go to these business occasions. They don't know what to wear. They need yeah. someone professional. What about what about them. the next one? Bargain, uh, bargainers? bargainers. Say professional bargainers. You know, they uh, are the ones who help you save money. Yeah, but then in the states, like in yeah, most places, we don't, like, we don't in bargain, the right? We don't bargain. It's all set states. price. Unless, yeah. unless it's like big business, like ah, you're no, you buying go. things in bulk or just for your company, not for yeah. your private use. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you need negotiate. It's more like a negotiator. But Price isn't negotiator. bargaining just part of the biggest fun in shopping for you? No, not really. No? Not really. All right. It's just, like sometimes you know that it's not mm. worth it. Then you want it to pay the price that you're willing to pay. But if you're in shopping in the mall or like, you know, you can't really do much. Yeah, but I guess you. if you say personal shopper might be not the one, the thing that you're looking for, but bargainer, bargaining, they are here uh, to save help you, you save your money. money. And I guess that's something you would need. But I don't think they make much, right? It's 2200 a month on average. 
Yeah. Does it say what kind of clients do they work for? I guess just average people. I mean, we're not talking about big businesses. Mm. Yeah. It's a new industry. You, ha you have to be really, you have to know the worth of things, and then you have to be really persistent. Yeah. I wonder if and you can bargain with them about the uh, their price. <laughs> <laughs> they are professional. It gets too you, will lose, you will lose every time. Right? Yeah. But the thing is, I, I think these people have to be the ones who really love shopping. Yeah, mm -hmm. and love bargaining. This is yeah. what they and do. know the business. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway, move on. This next one, we, I want to show you a picture first. What is oh. that? Karaoke scene? Another one. Yeah, it looks like a karaoke She's, scene. But if you look at her face, oh. she's really crying, but at the same time, she's got her microphone. Hmm. It's professional, say, funeral mourners. <laughs> oh. oh. Is that what it looks like? Oh, OK. You know, because this is uh, the picture taken in Chongqing, in southwest China. and. The one, the woman in the picture, she's very famous in, in that area. In that industry, in the field. In that industry, wow. in that area. And in Chongqing, they have that tradition. Funerals, uh, you know, it's supposed to be a sad occasion. Mm. And it is indeed a sad occasion. But again, uh, what they do is they cry first. But And the latter part of that occasion would be uh, turned into, well, a happy moment. It will be like performances, oh. like short sketches and singing. It's like we've cried enough, now it's time to restore to like the normal state of things. Right? But life has to go on, I guess that's what they believe. Oh, that's in. interesting. So, so this, all of that's taken care of by the professional mourners? Yeah, so, yeah I mean, they can be uh, providing the package of service. So, so in other words, they, it's like the people who plan like uh, the wedding party or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. they we'll be a wedding the, planner. They, they hire the band, they, you yeah. know, make, they make sure the program goes smoothly. Mm -hmm. So they hire, you know, so we do the crying and thing, and then we do the eating and the celebrating or whatever. They're actually putting on a show. It's like your, uh, as you mentioned, the wedding services. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like just part of the funeral service, which is, a, I heard it's a big industry in the States. You uh, actually make a lot of money. You mean funeral services? Yeah, or you don't hear about it, but they huh. actually. That's interesting. It's well, a very secure profession. I, I guess, yeah, because everyone <laughs> dies sooner yeah, or later. Yeah, eventually. Um, there are always but, people dying. But uh, it makes some sense because actually, even though the crying is fake in some way, you know, mm. I mean, studies have shown, and it seems to me, you know, intuitively obvious that when you like see someone cry on TV or even at something, you start to cry yourself. Mm. I mean, mm. if sometimes I'm just watching some show, I don't even know what it's about. If someone's crying, I start to like feel yeah. like I want to cry too. Mm. So I'm sure it works, even though people know that this woman's being paid, yeah. you still cry. I'm it's, sure. I, it's just for the atmosphere. Yeah, it makes it an atmosphere. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm Same starting to cry now, yeah. even just <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> more new jobs in this one. Well, an interesting one, professional gamers, or say, oh. uh, you know, in, in these computer games, they have different posses, and some are uh, not yeah. that well equipped, and they want themselves to be better equipped. Oh. And they, you have to they, get they can't do points, it right? themselves, oh. so they hire someone to do it for them. Yeah. Do you play computer games? Do you yeah, play? Yeah, I was going to say I'm going to go Not take really. a I'm, I'm going to go take a break now because I have known nothing <laughs> about <laughs> computer <laughs> games. But I understood what he said. Like yeah, there are different is, levels that like you get different points. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. And then if you reach a certain point, <laughs> you get new like weapons where you can use to. Mm. Like, so in other words, they. This this. But this, you can't do it so well, so you hire somebody. But this to, sounds like cheating it. to me. I mean. It's like yeah. it's like when you're working a crossword puzzle or something, and you go mm. look up the answer and you know, to do a few. That's cheating. I mean, yeah. the part of the fun of the game. That's true, but is, some people are impatient. Like they yeah. want to be the best, but it takes them but too long to get really there. But then you aren't really the best. I mean, what? Yeah. I, mean, I don't understand. Yeah, that. I, really I, don't. I guess you know, the fun of playing these computer games is the process of That's winning true. all these weapons. Yeah, well, but, I think well, I think what it shows is it's gone beyond just a mere game. Mm. Like they really care about getting to that level, and it's not about developing their skills. I guess they, they, they just yeah. want the feeling of being at that but level. But sometimes it gets frustrating if you like keep failing, uh -huh. right? And you want to get like I'm, I want to get to grade two, but it's taken me months. And but we're all yeah. we're all talking about this virtual world and yeah, these computer world. games. Yeah. But sometimes these virtual weapons in those games can yeah. be turned into cash. Yeah, it's some quite weapons to it's, someone it's else. It's quite interesting. In fact, I read somewhere that that some, one of the biggest money makers now is on the web, these virtual things that they buy and sell. They mm. don't even exist. And yet it's a huge industry of people buying and selling Nothing? Uh, uh, imaginary things. But with money know. or with just points? like on with, credit, with credit card, money. Who would do that? Oh, lots of people yeah. online. They do but that. You don't, they they don't buy ship like, it to you. 
No, but it's online. You get it online. You get it online. This, okay. I know this Again? we're in a brave I hope it's not expensive. It is, is expensive. They're in a brave new is world. Is it? Yes. Like I mean, what? They, Buying it, what? It's, it, each individual item is not expensive. Weapons or what? No, like for example, they have games where like you're make, planning a garden and you can buy more like vegetables Fertilizer. and buy tools and stuff like that. It's just a little game. You, they could buy accessories, hats, necklaces and stuff to make the game more fun. People are willing to put not a lot of money, 20 quai, 10 quai, yeah. like, but if you play the game often enough, it can build up to a lot of money and they yeah. got lots of virtual users. So it's really weird. You have this huge industry, money-making <laughs> thing where people are paying for stuff that doesn't even exist. Well, but it's the, kind of this sad. is really uh, you know, what the gaming industry is about. It's That's the same right. thing. It's just That's a different right. game, yeah. right? You but with your garden and me with my well, they're virtual games. Whatever. They're online games. It's I've, the same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I've heard about uh, selling and buying IDs uh, in, ID? these pl uh, in these computer games. Oh, like if you're really good, yeah. you sell your ID with yeah, your points and everything. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, because the ID has your information about your level and how... Yeah. Oh, it's I just like fake ID, and you know? The levels. They sell. I graduated from this school or whatever. Yeah, it's similar to the selling and buying of weapons. <laughs> just give you some, uh, some relevant information. In China, the total number of game players is nearly 70 million. Wow. So it is huge, that is huge, huge industry. We are like the special ones who don't play. Yeah, we're so out. We're like, out. <laughs> we're we're like out. the minority. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we play simple ones and never yeah, spent too much anything. time on computer games. But anyway, the, this next one is kind of related but not the same business. Mm -hmm. It's online, still online, still about virtual world but it's related to the real world. Online shoppers. Online shoppers. They buy stuff okay. for you. Maybe uh, on a bargain price. Mm. Uh, maybe something you can't buy. Maybe something they buy from other countries and have For them ship back or take it get. back. That to China. makes sense. I think to me that makes a little more sense than in the, some of this other stuff because the skill of getting online and finding some hard to find item at the lowest price is, is mm. actually is actually a, it's a, a, a it's a service. Mm. I mean, it can be time consuming. It can be time consuming, yeah. and you have to be very good at it and know how to search the internet. Some people just don't have that ability. So yeah. I, I, this makes sense to me. And it's like you just tell them, I want this thing, and I want yeah. it at a certain price right. range. Yeah, I and guess they can look this, for it. Right. this is more about these online stores, because I've mm. heard a story is about an owner of online store, and she's she loves traveling all around the world. And mm -hmm. one day she's in, well, she would leave a message on, on the online store, saying, I'm leaving tomorrow, uh -huh. the day after. Uh -huh. I'm going to places like Turkey or Tunisia, and uh, I'll be back in 14 days. And Taking maybe orders. the other day, uh, she would post another message on the store, say, I'm now in Turkey. I've mm -hmm. seen all these beautiful souvenirs. And she would take all these pictures and have them posted on the website. Say, if you're interested, tell me before a certain date, oh. and I'll buy them and take them back home. <laughs> and you, you know, this is the price of this kind of souvenirs. Wow. That's that a lot sense. of work, actually. Very small. But then, let's say, if you go to like Korea, and you buy skincare, like cosmetics. They have really, I think they have popular ones that are cheaper than what you can get in China. Mm. And you can go, get like two suitcases of hey, you can uh, make the, money from that. Hey, uh, I've, I've known this firsthand. Uh, every time my wife goes to the US, mm -hmm. her friends say, oh, pick me up this, uh, you know, yep. this, this cosmetic stuff. thing. And mm -hmm. it, it's stuff that sometimes it's, yeah, duty free, exactly. Because yep. it exists in China, but it's very expensive. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, she, that's, it's the obvious thing to go into business just doing that. Yeah. Whenever you go there, pick it up, bring it back, and earn money. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's lots of business opportunities online. Yep. Yeah. Every. What are we doing? What are we doing here? If, if <laughs> it's not about computer games. Anyway, yeah. move on. Next one, and this one is interesting. It's like lease your body for commercials. Uh. We have a picture. So, oh, give you <laughs> the right message. The picture is over here. He's wearing a T-shirt. You know, mm. he's saying that place is for commercials. And I guess he will just, his job is about walking around for certain hours a day. This, okay. this, this is not, but this, I have to tell you, this is not a new job. It is not. No. This goes way, way back. It, it, back during the Depression in the U.S., mm. Mm. people would sell themselves as living advertisements. And they would, they would, just like that, they would have a thing over their shoulders and it said, you know, eat at Joe's restaurant. You know, mm. they'd walk around Manhattan or whatever with, eat, you know, living advertisements. That's an old job that goes way back, it's maybe even further than that, I don't mm. know. Yeah. I've seen like back in Manhattan, people with um, like a board in front of them yeah. for stand-up comedian shows, yeah. things like that, Same and they thing. give out tickets, yeah. selling right. tickets Same on the thing. street. Yeah. It's, an old, it's an old idea. Yeah. So what I, about this? I mean, there's this new 
well, profession, whether mm -hmm. it's new or not. Uh, it's like you're leasing, no, it's like if you're a head model or, or leg model, it's not the whole body. Mm. It's your, your part of your body is used as, um, as like, modeling. Like a for billboard modeling. or something. Like, yeah. Well, there are, we, there, are, there are body part models, you're right. There are people who just have such beautiful hands that you know, in ring or jewelry commercials. Just adds, like yours. Just like mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And, and, and foot models and all this kind of stuff. So that's, but I don't know about using your body. I don't know. I've never seen those in China, like a painted commercial. This is another very interesting story about uh, what's happening in, in Britain. It's, uh, basically what it says is if you blink for 1,000 times, you get one, 100 pounds. So your eyes can make money too. By they, simply blinking your eyes? By, I guess they paint things over your like eyelids. Mm. And they go up to you and like blink towards you. Do you have to come over to you? Oh, I see. You have to go really up close. Oh. Like imagine you're just walking on the street yeah. and somebody come up to you like, look at me. And, and on the eyelid is written like some brand Cross name. over. Cross over. Yeah. Yeah, cross eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like that, yeah, okay. basically uh, this is about how innovative the idea is. It's because it's more mm. about attention. If you catch yeah. the attention of the public. Well, I can tell you if a, if a beautiful woman 